Welcome to another Coding Like Mad MATLAB tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at a common request, how to convert a table to an array. Uh, if you missed our previous table tutorial, please feel free to click this button here in order to see it. And if you like this tutorial, please consider liking and subscribing. The main strength of tables is that you can mix data of different types in one convenient package. This creates a problem when you try and convert them to a simpler format, such as an array, which requires that all variables have the same type. To see what we mean, let's look at an example table. We'll use the same one we've been using in our other table tutorials. As you can see, it contains data of three different types, a column of dates, three columns of floating point numbers, and one column of strings. In order to convert the table to an array, we need to split it into pieces which all have the same type. This can be done in one step, but for the sake of our tutorial, we'll do it piece by piece. To start with, we pull the date and feeling columns off as their own arrays. This is in case we want to do further conversions with them later. For example, you might want to convert the date entries into a number of days since a baseline. The behavior of the date column also likely depends on which version of MATLAB you're using. In 2016, which I'm using for this tutorial, it will be converted to a cell array. Next, we want to convert the floating point portion of the table. We're going to do this by first selecting the number columns in a new table and then converting the entire table. There are two ways of doing this. First, we might just select the columns by number. The second option is to select them by name. The second method generalizes a bit better and is a little bit easier, but if your columns aren't consistently named, the first method might be faster for you. Putting all these steps together, we go from a table of mixed types to three separate variables divided by type. A cell array of data arrays, a cell array of strings, and finally, the table of just numbers that we needed. The final step is to convert this last table to numbers, which we do using the table to array command, shown here. This command takes a table with the entries you are interested in and converts them to an array. In this tutorial, we've explored how to isolate variables of different types from a table and convert those variables into arrays. If you missed our previous videos on tables, you can click one of the icons shown here to get caught up. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, please feel free to subscribe. If you have any feedback, you can put it in the comments below.